angel is saying to you, you are being presented with a choice, evolve or remain. If you choose to remain unchanged, you will be presented with the same challenges, the same routine, the same storms, the same situations, until you learn from them, until you love yourself enough to say, no more, until you choose change. If you choose to evolve, you will connect with the strength within you. You will explore what lies outside the comfort zone. You will awaken to love. You will become. You will be. You have everything you need. Choose to evolve. Choose love. The people who are meant to be in your life will find their way back to you. They have to. Because the laws of nature have decided that maybe this time was not yours, maybe this moment was not meant, for love but for something else. Maybe these stages of both your lives are there to prepare you for different battles but you will come together again. You will learn, grow, heal, and perhaps even love others before you find your way back to each other. Before the years have spilled into the crevices of your journeys, and you have so much to catch up on, so much to learn about each other, that you missed out on. Before they realize that the you they left behind is no longer the you they find because of the different shades of growth you experienced. The people who are meant for you, the ones whose journey takes them on a new course altogether, will find you again because there is nowhere else for them to go, because they can trek down as many stormy paths as they are meant to, but they will still not find the home that they had made with you, because you both have to learn, change, and mend into the right people for each other. The people who are meant for you will travel to the edges of the earth and still come back to you, because they have to. They do. The hardest thing you will have to do in life is to let go of the people you may want to hold on to. Sometimes you will have to settle for loving someone from a distance, and that is okay. It is okay. Because if you cannot show up for another human being the way you know you should, if someone cannot love you the way you need to be loved right now, if circumstance or space or the messiness of life is getting in the way of giving your whole self and nothing less than that to another human being, then you have to be honest. Do not suffocate your love. Do not ignore the way someone makes you feel about yourself in order to keep them in your life. Do not ask for something to be more than it can be right now. Instead, appreciate it for what it was. Appreciate the lessons it grew within you. Appreciate the beauty you were able to feel. And appreciate the fact that in those ways, in those memories, it will be yours forever. Something beautiful happens when you stop waiting to be chosen and instead choose yourself. When you love yourself first. When you can be alone with the shape of yourself. When you stop running away from your truth. The right people start to show up. The right opportunities suddenly align. All the hustling you were doing, trying to make yourself more worthy, stops feeling right and instead you get into the flow of life. And everything you thought you'd have to earn and strive for seems to come a lot more easily. When you choose you, everything and everyone has to rise to that level. And all the good things you thought you'd have to force arrive in perfect timing. Yes, you need to show up. Yes, you need to work. But it'll be with the right people the right opportunities, and the kind of life that lights you up from the inside, because you are lit up from the inside. In life, you will have moments when you wonder if you're good enough for a job, another person, or something else that you really want. When you appraise the importance of your desire as being more valuable than yourself, then you are creating an imbalance in your self-perception. You place the significance on the thing that is outside of yourself as opposed to who you are within yourself.
This takes away your power and gives it to an external force. The true question is whether the job, relationship, or thing is good enough for you. Does it align with the vision you have for yourself and your life? Is it worthy of your time and energy? Will it be better for you? Will it fulfill you? Does it deserve you? The best version of yourself is actually the version of you who is completely happy with what they have. It is the version of you that wears the clothes in your closet and cooks the food they bought. It is the version of you who appreciates where they are while still remaining steadfast in building more. It is the version of you who can sit back and savor a moment, the version who can dance to the music while it plays. It is the version that is grateful for the work they have and does it diligently and with principle. It is the version of you who is no longer stretching constantly for something just out of reach. It is the version of you who is no longer looking to the future because it is the version of you who knows how to make the best of what you have right now. It's not your clothes or the way you style your hair. It's not your weight or body type. It's not the shape of your nose or the color of your eyes. No, that's not why they fall in love with you. They fall in love with your heart, your energy with the way you make they see the world in a way they never have before. They fall in love with your irrepressible spirit and the kindness you radiate out into the universe. They fall in love with your bravery, how you keep putting yourself out there, even when it's scary, how you don't hide in the shadows of life but walk fully in the light. And if there is no light, you're willing to share yours. You give it away freely without ever asking for anything in return. Can't you see? It's who you are at your core. That mind that always looks for the good. That heart that keeps beating through the joy and the pain. It's the way you make them feel. That's what they love. That's what's sacred. It's the beauty that radiates from within your true essence. The magic that you don't even know you carry. It's you exactly as you are. You are worth loving. You are worth cherishing. You are worth everything. Do you know that you light up every room you walk in? Do you know how good you make people feel? Do you know that your smile is like pure sunlight? That your laugh vibrates straight into a person's bones and becomes the best part of their day? Do you have any idea how radiant you are? How do you shine? How do you glow? Do you know how much someone out there looks forward to the moment when they get to see you, when they get to experience just a little bit of your light? You love fiercely. You give openly. You do so much for so many without ever asking for anything in return. And I know, I know you hide your pain so effortlessly that you pour your energy into making other people feel good so they'll never have to feel the way you felt, so they'll never feel so alone. And I hope you know you are a gift, an unmatched, irreplaceable gift. You are so incredibly important, and the parts of you that you don't think are worthy of receiving love, your shadows, your darkness, your pain, they are. God, they are. Every part of you is equally worthy your darkness and your light. All of you have value. All of you is enough. All of you are beautiful. The first cup of coffee in the morning, the warmth of the sun as it soaks into your skin, the kindness of a stranger, the laughter of a friend, the leaves are falling, the birds are chirping, the ocean crashing, the lone wild flower blooming in a sea of concrete, the billions of stars that pepper the night sky, the bunny-shaped clouds swiftly floating by, the moon shines no matter what phase she's in, the music that seeps into your soul, the books you can't put down, the days that feel too good to be true and the nights you pray will last forever. It's the little things, 
the sun peeking through the blinds mid-Sunday morning, the fragrances that teleport you to distant memories, the wind in your hair, the sand beneath your feet, laughing so hard it hurts, the art that makes you feel something in which you can't put into words, the poetry that tugs at your heartstrings, singing off-key in the shower, freshly made breed, butterflies in your stomach when you see them smile, the realization that everything is possible, that your dreams were planted in your heart for a reason, that the little things have always been the big things and materialism will never outweigh the magic we find in moments. Instead of feeling like you're behind, feel grateful for each setback you've had in your life and each lesson you have learned along the way. Be grateful for each relationship and what you were able to learn about yourself through falling in and out of love. Feel proud of how strong you have become from each time you were left to put the pieces of your broken heart back together. Be grateful that you learned that you will heal again no matter what you go through. Some people never find this strength. You should be proud that you learned how to recognize and move on from situations that are no longer good for you. You might feel like you are behind, but when you really think about it, Everything you have been through has made you the person you are now. Your experience is your strength, and you shouldn't wish to change that for anything. Trust that the future can still be beautiful, even if it looks different than what you were expecting. Trust that even here, more is unfolding beyond what you have been able to see. Even when things have changed, you may not be able to be everything to everyone, but you can still be everything you were meant to be by choosing to be present and ready to grow at every place on the journey. You do not miss out on what is meant for you when someone says no to you. You have not missed out on being able to know love and peace just because all that fell apart this year. You are still here, and this matters more than you know. You are going to have more opportunities to live, to learn, to grow. Years from now, you won't remember every conversation, every thought, or everything you accomplished, but I hope you remember the times you bravely chose to love. I hope you remember that when times were hard, you found courage to not give up. I hope you don't just remember the people who left, but the ones who stuck around. I hope you remember that even after the longest nights, morning light found you, somehow. I hope you always remember that all along, through everything that was changing, you were changing too. So if you have to say goodbye to something or someone, I hope you can trust that in time, you will be fine. Not perfect, but fine. And years down the line, Life will be different but still beautiful. You will still be whole, even if you're living somewhere different, working something different, in a community or in a relationship you never could have even imagined could be possible. I don't know how to explain to you the way that I've been feeling lately. I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that I'm just feeling down and blue or if it has something to do with the way that I've been getting treated by you. Or perhaps it's both. Maybe I don't know bad. Maybe I'll never know, but I'm too scared to open up to you. Because then it opens me up to the risk of annoying you, or worse. It opens me up to the risk of losing you. But maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe we need to walk away from each other, but how can I say that when every other time we've tried to walk away, it never lasts long, we always find a way back together, and I still can't decide if that's a good thing or a bad, because maybe it's both. I guess it's just been a crazy past few days. I'm not sure how to handle it, and I don't think I'm doing very well, and maybe it's my fault or maybe it's yours. Maybe I don't even know what I'm talking about. I've never thought about my life without you, but recently I've been curious about it, 
except the truth of the matter is that I don't know how to be with anyone else but you, or maybe I do and I'm just too scared to try it. Maybe I'm scared that I'll like it more with someone else than I do with you, or maybe. I'm scared that if I find someone new, then you'll find someone new to be with too. And I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I guess it wouldn't matter because that's not any of my business. And even if it was, you wouldn't tell me anyway, because you've always had this tendency to keep me at arm's length. You don't ever let me in. There have been some moments where you've told me stories about your childhood and talked about your family drama with me, but only briefly, and I just wish you'd go into more detail, but that's just not the kind of person you are, even though it's the kind of person I am. I know we're not meant to be the same, but how can we be opposites and not attract each other? Don't they always say that opposites attract, and yet here we are polar opposites with not a thing in common, and we're fighting fate to be together. Or is it just me that's fighting? Maybe I'm the only one that's fighting and failing. I've lost myself along the way, and maybe I've already lost you, so I wonder what I'm so scared and worried about. It's probably nothing, but at the same time, I'll probably lose everything too. It literally brings tears to my eyes, wanting to do so much for the ones I love, but not having the ability to do anything about it. Call it an excuse and I will call you a liar, because my life is unknown to most. I want to take my dad to Napa so he can taste the nectar from the gods and show him the valleys where they grow the grapes. I want him to see the sunset and how it bounces off every bottle being poured. I want him to smile, because it's been too long since my old man has been happy. He deserves so fucking much, and here I sit, writing about it with hopes of making something of myself before it's too late. I want to take my mom to Paris, because she hasn't seen anything beautiful for so long and has been working her bones down to dust for the past 17 years. She deserves to smile because it's been too long since I saw her happy. I want to take my little brother to New York City and show him what art looks like when it's done by the lonely. He has had a rough life and deserves to smile because he went too long without showing it off to people who needed to see how it helped everyone feel better. I want to take my older brother to California the last time we were there was nine years ago, for my boot camp graduation. There wasn't enough time to soak in the ocean and give sand the feeling of freedom. He deserves to be happy, because he works his ass off to provide for his family and he is the most unselfish person I know. Writing this, I'm in tears because I feel them all the time and know how hard they each have had it. And I take responsibility for not being able to do more because I've protected each one for so long. I have become a parent in a sense to my own family. These tears released make me have peace about it. And each one that falls is another opportunity to make it all happen and create another poem. I am an emotional thunderstorm with sights and sounds resembling the lost child I used to be. Now I'm a grown man who still needs help and never asks, but is beginning to see the bigger picture of taking responsibility and owning my actions, when for too long I acted out and drank myself into feeling nothing at all. I'm misunderstood and bruised by lightning. I'm a paradox of abandoned boxes filled with memories and abilities to feel the slightest of eyes looking at me. I want my family to know that I care and sometimes tears only get you so far, but they are words I can never find. I cry to find my way through the darkness. I cry to find peace within the chaotic mess I am, for they have gone too long without knowing anything other than pain. I'm changing my life by becoming my own person. Don't stand next to me if you're afraid of showing emotion. 
My life and the ones in it deserve to see how it is. You care when they are hurting without saying a goddamn thing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to reach 500 divine subscribers very soon. Please share this video to your loved ones. Type Amen to affirm. Thanks for watching.